everyone, I am working on my third haul video of the night and hopefully I'll be getting these up in around the same time frame so it doesn't look like I've been wearing the same outfit for a long period of time. So I'll try to edit all these tonight. But hopefully this will also be my last video and we'll try to get all the rest of the stuff that I got into this one. Uh, just to give you a preview of what's to come, I got some stuff from Ulta, some stuff from... I believe it was CVS, it was a drugstore, and then I also got some more Mary Kay stuff, which I know I shouldn't have, but they got some new stuff in and I just I couldn't resist. I am weak to bright colors, so you will definitely see that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started and jump right into it. I'm going to start with Ulta, and I'm going to start with my favorite item that I got. I have used this since I've got it, and it is the Formula... 10.0.6 deep down detox ultra cleansing mud mask and it looks like this and it is a 3.4 fluid ounce 100 milliliter formula and it has orange and bergamot I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that word but I probably just completely botched it up but the description is this super cleansing detox mask cleanses impur impurities for a cleaner, brighter complexion. The energy of orange recharges while sea salt cleanses and bergamot balances. Your face will notice the difference. And if I could somehow describe to you how good this smells, I would, but I do not physically think it is possible. It just smells so, so delicious. I'm actually going to put a little on my face so you can see what it looks like on there. Okay. Maybe you can see that. I'm not sure. It doesn't show up a lot um, in real life, but yeah, I can kind of see it on the computer screen. It's kind of just an ivory color. But it's still obviously wearing a face mask and it, I smelled it out of this and it smelled really really good. Now, now that it's on my face I can really really smell it and it smells fabulous. Like really you. <laughs> I would get this just for the scent and I didn't even smell it before I bought it. But once you clear it off it makes your skin so small so soft. Smoft is not a word. So soft and smooth and I recommend this 110%. Again, it is the Deep Down Detox. And I think it was $9.99. It wasn't bad at all. Okay, I only got one more thing from Ulta. And that would be the Studio Basics 4-Piece Eyeshadow Brush Set. And this is basically just to blend and, and smooth eyeshadow. I haven't used these yet so I can't give any kind of review on them but there are three different ends and they are interchangeable there is the regular end there's the the smudge end and then the third extra interchangeable tip so I'll probably be using this in a tutorial, and so you'll get the review of that. Oh, and I forgot one. There's also this end. This comes with the, the blending brush, the sponge applicator, and the smudger. With every order at Ulta, they give you three samples. You get to choose the three. And I wish you could get three of the same one, but you couldn't. So... First one I got is the Hydro Pure Firming Eye Cream by MD Skincare. I heard this was a really good brand, so I just decided to get that. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, the next thing is the Strivectin SD Eye Cream. I'm thinking I might give this to my mom since I still have really young skin. I don't really have any kind of problems with my eyes. And third, and the thing I am most excited about is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm really excited about trying this and reviewing it because 
I've seen it a ton in videos and everyone seems to love it but I have a kind of a primer that I use already but it has SPF in it and it's just uh, it's called day solution I'll probably go over it one day but I want to see whether this is actually any different Okay, so that does it for Ulta. The next thing I'm going to do is do my CVS haul. I got three things from here as well. First thing is the Wet n Wild Mega Brilliance lip gloss. It's like this. And that is the brush. It has a regular lip gloss brush. I am not a big fan of this. To be honest, I only got it because it was a dollar and I didn't have to buy it, so I got it. It is a really pretty color in here, but I'm wearing it right now and you can't really tell. See, I mean, I'll put on more. And you can kind of tell I'm wearing lip gloss, but even in person it's not painfully obvious. But it does smell delicious. Um, I think this is mostly meant for little girls. So if you have, if you have a little girl or a niece or something, this would be perfect because it doesn't really have a lot of color, but it smells really good. If I was around five or six, I would have loved that stuff. Okay, the next thing I got is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and this is a liquid eyeliner and this is in plum. I have used this and I really like it. It's not my favorite liquid eyeliner. I have yet to find a liquid eyeliner that I'm absolutely in love with but again this was actually on sale. I think it was 50% off but that's why I got it. It has a really really thin line which is really good. You don't want your line liner to have a really thick end especially on liquid because it is kind of hard to control and if it's a a thick brush then it's just gonna go everywhere. L'Oreal Paris High Intensity P Pigment in Intricate 282 and my mom was with me whenever I got these and she was not a fan of this but I told her that the pigment was really good and I definitely proved myself correct because I put a little bit on my hand to try it out to kind of prove to her how bright it was and it stayed on for 24 hours through me scrubbing my hand through you know several hand washings overnight it would not come off and it finally came off whenever I took um, some makeup remover it really lasts really really long time I'm just gonna put a little bit on right here Obviously not going to wear it like this, but you can see how pigmented that is. I'm going to look really, really funny now. Yeah, I'm going to look terrible, but yeah, look at that. That's horrible. And look, now it will not come off. Hmm. You know, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have tested it on my hand first. Okay, I'll do that too. So, my hand and then very very pigmented this would be really good for going out as long as you don't apply it like this this is a no people do not do this thankfully I'm almost done so if you could just kind of I know ignore this eye because I'm too lazy to get off and go take that off 